maybe you can show us how much uh, you know cashback you have accumulated. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> and I guess that also touches on like for users, right? right? You give them what they value, which is cash. Yes. Right. Not points. No, not not a currency that could change with time. Right. You give them cash, they can transfer back to their bank account. So yeah. your cashback is now. 18,000. 18,698 and 71 cents. Mine's a thousand bucks, uh, one thousand six hundred dollars. Yeah. Wow. Just, just and it's pure cash. You could cash it out uh, anytime you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry Chan and Joe Leong think about shopping a lot. In 2014, the two friends started a shopping app called Shopback. Customers get cash back from every purchase, retailers get new customers, and their startup gets a cut from every transaction. Shopback now powers over US $3.5 billion in annual sales across the Asia Pacific. I'm Sumiko Tan, Executive Editor of The Straits Times. I'm meeting the two at Timber Plus at One North, not far from where it all started for them. Over chicken rice, fried noodles and bihun, Mr. Chan showed me how one can accumulate a mind-blowing $18,000 in cashback using his app. Why do you pick Timba as a place to meet? Well, I think it brings back quite a lot of uh, memories. So I always go to the same store, uh, order actually exactly the same dish, fried noodles with, with uh, siu mai and, and an egg. Yeah, yeah. And for me, it's this store, the chicken rice store. Same thing, same process, same journey. We will pick up at 7 a.m. in the morning. Then we'll come to work together. Then we have breakfast, then we start our day. Could you share the various milestones of a shop back? See, when we first launched, a company called eBay decided to launch in Singapore. And after a year, we actually left the market. And it also gave us conviction to realize that, hey, maybe we can bring this beyond Singapore. And that's when we started opening up a new market every roughly nine months. So we were very focused on Southeast Asia, we went to Malaysia first, tried to expand new markets, Indonesia, Thailand. I thought ourselves that Southeast Asia is nice, but actually Asia Pacific is much larger. Can we go, go to APEC instead? So with that, he went to Taiwan, we set up our first office outside Southeast Asia. Then after that, we went to Australia, we went to Korea. So we're actually pretty much more APEC business today than a Southeast Asian business. Uh, the markets are very different. Culture, language behaviors, how people perceive. i give an example, uh, sale timing uh, in Singapore. People like their sales at night. That's a very common uh, 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 way to think about sales. Midnight sales. Other markets uh, actually having sales in lunchtime is actually a good time. So there's just different cultural norms in every every uh, country. Uh, could you share how ShopBank is different from the other similar apps in the market? I think fundamentally most brands are open to rewards, right? So I, I would say that um, reward is something that most brands are interested in. And where, where we come in is that we try to work with these partners and try to be able to drive sales and traffic to them. There are two key factors that, that brands are very interested in with us. So the first one is that we charge only when a sale happens. I think very few marketing channels are willing to put their head out and say, I charge only when a sale happens. And when we do that, then it aligns the interests of both parties. Because if we get a sale, then we get paid. Second one, increasingly, I, I think it's also on the cash flow uh, portion. Uh, merchants, when they do advertising, normally what they do is they pay upfront and then they pray and hope for the best that, that it does well. For us, we do the marketing first and after the, the sale has happened, then do we charge that money. That means that the merchant has already collected the money from the customer, he has gotten the cash, he can share part of it with us. And, and then it makes it really a revenue share model and it helps them in their cash flow rather than take cash flow away uh, from them. So our goal is really more like a middle uh, man, right? Or agent trying to help them grow their business and being part of their team and help them grow their marketing. And I guess that also touches on like for users, right? right. We give them what they value, which is cash. Right. No points. You give them cash, they can transfer back to their bank accounts. Do you have a profile of your customers? You do. I didn't know women. <laughs> 60% or 70% female, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So, how do you see Shopback in the next, like, maybe three years or five years? I hope we can continue to grow new markets. I think APEC is a huge space and continue expansion there. That's one. Um, I think we've done a great job in online. Still, uh, for a lot of online retailers, a lot of room to innovate there as well. Keep moving ahead. The huge space actually is offline in the brick and mortar world. Uh, and also introducing new services, especially in financial services. They are related to shopping. So that's where you see Shopback Pay, Shopback Pay later. We want to continue our partnership with all these different brands and, and, and players in the market. 
but but let's say if you really want to think of shopping and, and make good shopping decisions shop back will be the one uh, to be able to advise and help you to do so and you still make your transactions and purchases on all these brands and, and partners that we partner with yeah. okay thanks very much for you, having breakfast <laughs> early lunch <or>? yeah. <laughs>